today we are going to talk about another ale, another Finnish ale from Finland. Well, Finnish beer from Finland. So it uh, looks like this. It's uh, Hisi Hu Red Wine Old Ale. It has 8% uh, alcohol by volume. And it's barrel aged. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it does, nowhere does it, it indicate on, on the bottle or online that in which kind of barrel or barrels it has been um, aged in. But it says barrel aged, so I'll I'll just um, take it, take it for granted. So it it's a beer that is a bit odd because it, it has besides water and barley barley malt it's got water barley malt red wine and grapes sour cherries hops and yeast so it's probably some kind of a mix between an ale and a sour so it i expect it to have some resemblance to the um, um, the um, Pöhjala Pinot Noir bar barrel aged uh, Imperial Stout, I think it was. Uh, so, because it has some red wine component to it, so I would expect there to be some, maybe some resemblance. But hey, we'll see. So, what this is an old ale. Uh, red wine with you know the the red wine component added to it with uh, sour cherries, which uh, sour cherries are used by the way in in making creek, which is uh, the cherry lambic made in Belgium. Uh, there's uh, the biggest one of the most notable uh, well known um, brands or you know breweries of those is Timmermans and Lindemans Creek. So that is it. Uh, so those have those are flavored with sour sour cherries. So old ale is one form of strong ale, uh, like the um, delirium tre delirium tremens that I talked about in the previous episode. That is also a strong ale it was a strong blonde ale this is this has um the red wine component um added to it and aged in a barrel i have no idea as as i said previously no idea what what kind of a barrel that would be but a barrel uh all together and it's typically or at least historically uh, been, been applied to multi dark beers uh, or, that originate in England and typically over five uh, percent ABV alcohol by volume, and also uh, dark ales uh, of um, pretty much any strength in Aussieland, Australia, um, and sometimes. Uh, associated with uh, stock ale or keeping ale in which uh, the beer is held at the brewery for a number of reasons and there's a blurred line between um, uh, between old ale and barley wine and I will probably come come to um, talk about barley wine at some point in in the course of this channel at some point uh not today maybe not next week but at some point so um in historical sense or in historical uh historical frame old ales were served as complement to mild ales which are as um as the name suggests a milder type uh dark ale which are <clears throat> somewhere somewhere between three 
and 3.6% alcohol by volume. However, there are um, some uh, lighter, lighter beers uh, th that are mild ales and um, some stronger mild ales that reach up to 6% uh, per and maybe even higher ABV and it this uh, the mild ale again like uh, old ale originated in England in the 17th uh, century as as I said uh, in historical frame uh, old ales were complement to mild ales and in pubs of the era typically uh, you know from 17th century onwards um, land the landlord would uh, uh, serve the customer a blend of sharper stock ale with the with fruitier sweeter mild ale to the customer's uh, taste and in london in particular the aged ale would take a, a slight tart note from secondary fermentation with Brettanomyces yeast, which was present in either in pitching yeast or the uh, wooden wooden equipment used in in um, in the brewing process. Um, some because it took quite a long time. You know, making old ale took a took a good while. So, uh, investors, some investors bought uh, mild, mild, mild ale from brewers, uh, age it into old ale, and then say uh, sell it at a higher price. And eventually, you know, brewers caught up on that and um, kept some of the beer. Uh, to themselves and aged themselves and then sold it to pubs with a you know higher price tag so the stock ale was the brewery's very aged ale and was used to inject an old an old quality and perhaps acidity to the blend so i have now opened the bottle mm. there's that it's quite acidic. It's probably from the um, maybe the um, sour cherries and the maybe the grapes. Mm. It has a firm, firm head, or the foam, foam layer on on top of it. It's a uh, dark, um, dark brown. Dark, almost black, and it has a uh, red wine sort of hue to it. You know the dark, deep red, um, or even purple hue that that um, that that red wine has. Hmm. Very acidic. Hmm. This is interesting. The first kick is. Uh, really, the first thing that kicked is the sourness. It's quite sour, uh, which which comes most likely from the sour cherries that that it has. But then again, it has hop, hop quite um, bitter hop, bitter hoppiness to it, and. Uh, mm. Maybe a little there's um red wineish um red wineish um aftertaste to it. Uh, so overall quite sour. Um it has a sour cherry uh front kick and then the red wine the red wine you know and then it comes then comes the hoppiness and then you know the you know the beeriness you know the malt kicks in comes next and then there's a red wine red wineish um 
uh, artifice to it. So not quite my type, but I, I would say a solid five, solid five on on range from zero to 10, a good five. Thank you again for watching. I hope you made it this far. If you haven't, too bad. If you have, and if you have uh, made it this far and you haven't done so already, please leave me a like, uh, subscribe, and tickle the notification bell to get um, notifications for future content uh, like this one. Now, I'll see you next time. Cheers.